With the days ticking away, we are already at November 27th. The rifle season is almost over. Marilyn and I decide to sit in the box blinds, stay warm and comfortable for the last few days. Sometimes, hunting is more about enjoying the moments than stressing over the chase. Marilyn and I captured that throughout the season. This was definitely one of the most fun and enjoyable years we've had. Chicken McGriddle, add cheese, you're welcome. <laughs> Marilyn finishes out her season in the box blind, overlooking a food plot, with the usual does making their way through. We're now staring down the barrel of the last few days. It's time to strap on some hiking boots and go try some deer drives with friends and family. Three out six. Yeah. Did you have three out eight last year? No. Jesus. <laughs> it's all fun and games that comes running out after. <laughs> I suppose it's frozen for you. What do you weigh, 140? <laughs> All right. <sighs> Ooh. Did you get him? <sighs> Crazy part about pushing stuff like this, as you can see, you know, it's real thick, but what's even crazier is the amount of time. Uh, all right, hear him. So what I was gonna say is this thick stuff, you know, it's hard to push, it really is, but it's amazing how many times, like you see these groups here, how many times I've been about this far away when you jump a deer. The Usually the older ones, the smarter ones that know that you might just walk right past them. They'll hold tight to cover for a lot longer than these younger ones. God, I can't believe I didn't see that one. He scared my way. Man, if I'd have been standing here, I bet we saw that deer. We'll be able to get a shot at it. So that deer, what that those deer just did to us, is something else when you have enough people you think about and you always leave someone where you start because those deer got right back between us and they're headed right back where we started this whole thing. I'd put my money on two things. One, if we had a stander back there, they'd shoot them. Or two, those deer run 50-ish yards, lay back down. You come through, you spook them again. But we're gonna keep moving. Start pushing this to dad. I With our first drive being unsuccessful, we head out to a second property on the final day of the season and try to make it happen. I'm Lynn. I'm Aaron. You're another Aaron. Yeah, Aaron Lindsley. You got a, you got a body cam on? Oh yeah. Yeah. 
He's standing right out in the field here. Aaron, you're gonna you're gonna stand out there. Yeah. I would go to the far end of this field. Okay. So you're not terribly far from the woods. Okay. Because they like to stay in the woods when they come out. All right. Sounds good. Holy Jesus. Here, they might come right here and stay in the thin stuff to run faster. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see where they come out. This is the first time we've ever done this drive. The first time I've ever done this drive, so... I never really know how the deer are going to react. They might shoot right out all the way across the field to the west. Pile them up, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Nice three and a half year old. I just piled them up. The GoPro died, you guys. I'm so sorry, but. I had to wait to shoot him because I heard one of our drivers back in here right past him. So I had to give him time and wait. Plugged him right there, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Every deer ran across the road. There's probably 15 of them. One doe ran out where you are right now and ran in through the woods. And then he came out right in the middle. I piled him up over there. I had to wait because I heard Lynn yell and I just had to wait and wait because I didn't know where he was. <laughs> so I was like, shit. Let's go. Huh? Oh, he piled up. He's dead. Woo! Definitely my biggest rifle buck. He's dead. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We gotta finish this drive because there's other people that need deer, but that's the biggest buck I've shot with a rifle. He's nothing to, nothing too big, but when I saw him in the scope, it was uh, definitely the biggest I've ever seen. So that's my goal. I've told you guys that every year is slowly improve bigger and bigger every year. And that's what we're doing. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the biggest buck I've ever shot with my rifle. So baby steps and when he was running, I thought for sure it was a three and a half, but it is what it is. We got some meat, we're gonna eat good. And uh, let's get her gutted up and out of here. Rifle season has a special place in my heart. Moments like these are not easily forgotten. The excitement and the rush from being part of a deer drive is unlike any other. This year, I was able to put down my biggest buck with a rifle. It's nothing special, but it means a lot. It's a perfect way to cap off this incredible year that we've had at Sergeant Outdoors by filling the freezers with one more deer and adding another Euro mount to the fireplace. This year will never be forgotten. From Jordan's insane buck to dad's first deer and everything in between, it's been incredible. Well, I, I think it's a, it's a live deer. I think Sweet is. fucking redemption, baby. I almost had you last week. <laughs> what just happened? Oh my god. Oh. Is he down? <laughs> is he down? Yeah. I fucking smacked him! <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's now time to look forward. Plan for the season ahead of us. Let's catch up with some of the creators for Sergeant Outdoors on the next episode of The Debrief.